Hi everyone. Uh, I am Zahra Kuzigari. I want to talk about the uh, survey of Kurgan culture in Northwest Iran, uh, Kurgan culture and cultural change in Iran. Mm, to talk about the, the Kurgan culture, their structures, and their uh, rituals associated to these Kurgans, as well as the burial and material object from uh, the Kurgans in northwestern Iran. Uh, the uh, history of uh, Kurgan studies in archaeology that goes back to Jacques de Morgan, uh, who surveyed the northwestern Iran, and he reported the existence of some uh, Kurgans in the region in late 19th and early 20s. Then we have Sir Orlestein, uh, who excavated some sites in early 1930s. Uh, from the region, especially the Segirdan, uh, which is one of these Kurgans. And then the earliest Kurgans uh, was excavated by uh, Oscar White Mascarella in Segirdan uh, within the Hassan Lu project in 1960s and 1970s. And following him, there are the uh, German archaeology surveys, Stefan Kroll and Wolfram Clays in northwestern Iran. They also yielded numerous, they also reported numerous Kurgan sites in northwestern Iran. Uh, but recently, the, some of these Kurgan sites have been excavated by uh, the Iranian archaeologists, and the, this study is based on these results of all these studies that I mentioned. According to these studies, the geographical distribution of Iran uh, are mainly on northwestern Iran in the eastern side of the northwestern Iran. Uh, the majority of these Kurgans uh, are in southern Arax River, in uh, Parsabad and Khodafarin Plain in the east, and Jolfa Plain to the west, as well as the central Ardabil province, Ahar and Varzagan region. And the southernmost is the Segirdan and Tahta Soleiman Kurgans, uh, known so far in the northwestern Iran. Uh, according to the mound structures or the surface structure of these Kurgans, they can be divided into uh, two distinct uh, or three distinct forms. First, the Kurgans with their mound structure made of earth and, and stone or rubble, as uh, in Majid, in, in, in Tumulus Majid, and in in Takop, in Takhta Soleiman, and Aslandu's uh, Kurgan in Ardabil province. And the other group are known the so-called Kromlech, which have a stone, a cell, circular uh, stone cell structure around them. Uh, these are like as you see in Zard Khane near Ahar in northwestern Iran. Uh, according to the structure of their mound or the surface structures, uh, they have been uh, structured in different techniques. For example, some of them are uh, composed of rubble stones and, uh, and maybe put in earthen mortar, uh, as we can see in in Segirdan, as you see here, they have constructed of different stones around the burial chamber. Uh, in some of them, the stones are used, as in Jafarabad Kurgan, are uh, used from the adjacent rivers, uh, rubbles or pebbles uh, sometimes, and the most concentration of these uh, Kurgans are of these stone uh, rubbles are uh, on the surface on the top of the grave in all of them. In Abilu Kurgan near Ahar, you can see in this section, uh, uh, the section of the vault range, you can see the different uh, material and techniques that they have used uh, to use in the construction of these Kurgans. Then some of them are generally uh, made of rubble stone ring around them to determine their periphery and then uh, the interior parts have been constructed by piles of rubbles and different stones uh, on them. As you see in Larijan, again in Khodafarin region in southern Araxes River in northwestern Iran, uh, they, they also have constructed in some uh, in different 
phases. Uh, first, uh, the burial chamber was uh, was done, and then a circular rubble stone ring around them to determine the periphery of these uh, kurgans. Then, uh, in the second phase, the uh, around the rubble, they put uh, some. Um, stone rubbles, again, stone pile, a pile of stone rubble, and then the whole surface was covered uh, in different layers by stone and by stone rubbles around them. Uh, in the Segirdan 1 or 4 Kurgan, again, you see the traces of the rubble stone ring around the uh, burial chamber of the Kurgan and around the burial chamber, as you see here, again, there are piles of stone rubber, rubbles, and most of these Kurgans are constructed in this technique. You can see on the plan of these Kurgan 6 and Kurgan 2 from uh, Segirdan, again, uh, a rubble stone ring uh, to determine the periphery of the Kurgan and uh, the stone pile around the burial, stone burial chamber. And as you see here again in Larijan, in Khodafarin Plain, they also have uh, the same patterns. And But the, the, the space between the uh, stone rubble ring, rubble stone ring and the stone pile around the, um, around, around the a uh, burial chamber is constructed in different techniques, very interesting technique in Kurgan Segirdan. Uh, this uh, distance and the uh, upper layers have been constructed by this. As you see here, the traces, the, according to Mascarella, who excavated the region, he believes that they all uh, started to use wooden fences to uh, separate these different parts. And then they uh, fill these different parts, the beef bit of the space between these stone, between these wooden uh, fences by very hard clay. Uh, and then the outer levels of these kurgans are constructed with um, gray wall and clay and uh, or maybe gray wall and some compact uh, clays uh, to have these cool guns. The burial graves around under these cool guns also have different types but they can divide it into uh, two distinct forms some burial pits dug in the soil uh, in the friend in circular rectangular forms and some rectangular circular stone built uh, burial chambers uh, on some of these uh, cool guns there are some uh, stone structures on the uh, on the grave as you see in Kurgan 3 and Kurgan 4 in Jafarabad. Uh, the plan or the form of these burial chambers are different, oval in shape, circular, and sometimes very long oval or long rectangular forms. Uh, the interior space of these tombs uh, sometimes are divided in two parts by a large stone slabs or some clay or mud brick walls uh, to to separate uh, the burial part and the offering, especially the animal offerings within these kurgans. Uh, these burial, stone burial chambers also are constructed in different plans, uh, sometimes a rectangular, right angle rectangular, as we can see in Segirdan by uh, placing flat uh, stones um, uh, vertically, uh, as you see here in Segirdan, and sometimes by placing uh, large stone slabs vertically, as uh, we can see in Abelou Kurgan, again to construct the uh, stone. Sometimes the floor of this Kurgan is um, paved by stone, uh, and sometimes by uh, a very compact clay. Uh, they have used to to pave the, the interior the, or the, the, the floor of these burials, as you see here again in Abelou Kurgan. And sometimes uh, the structures uh, are con constructed of uh, stone rubble, uh, rubbles, as you see here in Larijan or in circular and sometimes in uh, oval form. Uh, the, 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 these graves have been um, 
uh, closed uh, in different techniques, sometimes by using um, parallel, by using stones set in parallel lines, or sometimes they have used the wooden, uh, small wood, wooden beams uh, to, to put uh, parallel uh, to each other to cover these burials. Uh, the construction of some of the mound uh, surface structure of these Gurkhans is also associated with some rites, uh, sometimes by uh, offering uh, personal ornaments, the rings, uh, bangles, or different uh, earrings or different uh, uh, beads, uh, or sometimes they have offered, uh, they have been accompanied by uh, animal offerings or pottery offerings, as we can see here in Kulgan 8 Mound in Jafarabad, again in Khodafarin, uh, in, uh, among the objects on the surface under the surface uh, mound of the of these Kurgan, also some various uh, bronze buttons are discovered, which is representative of offering uh, of clothes, maybe um, to these uh, Kurgans. But this not this does not happen in all Kurgans. It happens in some of these Kurgans, especially in Jafarabad, who have been excavated and reported by the archaeologists. Uh, but the, these uh, offerings are also happens in very rich uh, uh, kurgans or which might have belonged to a person that higher social status in these kurgans. Uh, sometimes a burnt uh, bowl shared found in kurgan for fill in Segirdan and Mascara Love Leaves. This might be representative of a kind of a fire rites uh, accompanied or associated with these uh, burial mounds. The human burials, as I told you, uh, especially in some of these kurgans, uh, the pits have been divided into four parts. The one to place the animal offerings and another place to uh, to put the pottery and other objects offerings and another and the third part to place the human the skeleton the buried uh, the the deceased the, the body of the deceased in these kurgans in some of these kurgans again they have lateral tombs uh, to place the uh, the animal offerings or maybe to uh, to bury some other uh, peoples of the same family or uh, other burials within them and in some of them as you see here in the picture in the left uh, they have placed uh, made some specific places to put different offerings on them uh, and in under some of these uh, burial mounds uh, they contain two uh, graves as in Kurgan 1 in Laridan. Uh, the, the, the deceased are placed uh, stretched with the stretched legs uh, on their um, right uh, sometimes on the right uh, uh, side uh, facing to the south, but in some of them they are uh, placed again in the same in large on they are placed in contracted position, uh, placing to the with their face to the north or with their face to the right and some of them they have uh, been buried with their personal ornaments and some jewelry and some weaponries, as you see a dagger and spears in their graves. And again, in Jafarobot too, we have this uh, crunched or this uh, contracted position um, diseased uh, place in the Kurgan 4 in, again, in Khodaf and in Rita. Uh, in some of these kurgans are associated with some specific offerings uh, further to animals like goat, like balls, and others uh, in within these kurgans, as we can see in Abilu, are accompanied with horse burials. Sometimes the whole horse has been placed. Uh, have been buried and sometimes some parts of horse are discovered among the animal bones. Uh, in Abelou Kurgan, again, there is a very, which is a very big Kurgan, they, it has uh, some lateral tombs uh, by a horse and uh, about three horse and a dog. Uh, a dark burial within them in Michigan Shah again, uh, which is a site, uh, an interesting site, Kurgan site. 
uh, excavated uh, by the Iranian archaeologists. There are numerous horse burials or some burials with horse uh, skulls uh, discovered between them. Uh, in some of these uh, cool guns or lateral tombs in these cool guns are uh, accompanied. These horse uh, horses are placed uh, in, com in accompanying with other animals, including the, the goats, the balls, the ibexes, and the goat balls, and sometimes dogs within them. And this is, as you see, a uh, Horse is called these again. The horse is called buried in Kurgan number two. Uh, but one of these Kurgans, which is known as Kurgan number 22 in Meshkinshar, is very interesting uh, because uh, within this Kurgan, a total of 20, 37 horses are buried in two levels in one grave. And uh, this uh, demonstrates the importance or the high, maybe social status of these uh, people. The, these uh, Kurgans are associated to Scythian uh, culture uh, by the excavator of the sites. And uh, we are now uh, uh, wait to the final excavation reports to see the datings and the associated and other objects discovered from these Kurgans. Uh, the other group of these cool guns are the Kromlich cool guns, as I told you, which are uh, known or uh, according to the circular stone structures or stone stellas around these cool guns. And they also have been reported from various sites in northwestern Iran uh, by Estefan Kroll, by uh, Domorgan, and uh, recently very two uh, of these Kurgan sites have been excavated and published by the Iranian archaeologists. As in Zardkhane, you see the periphery stone structure and the burial, stone burial chamber in this Kurgan. And uh, this is, as you see here, the, the uh, burial chamber uh, in these kurgans are generally built in, on the surface uh, by placing large stone slabs. Uh, the burial, the 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 place, the placing the uh, deceased in these cool guns is also different. Sometimes uh, they are placed uh, in from the, their uh, from the surface and sometimes, as you see in, in Boignon, again in Ardabil province, they put the, this, they, they have decided the interior part of the uh, Kurgan into uh, two different parts, uh, one uh, probably for the, um, the burying the deceased body to placing the deceased body and the other part to put the offerings. And uh, as you see the, uh, Walls of these kurgans again are play are constructed by placing large stone spikes vertically, and behind them is filled with a stone and uh, with uh, rubble and clay. What is interesting about these uh, Kromlich kurgans in northwestern Iran is that most of these sites, both excavated or those that they are reported uh, in during archaeological surveys, are generally associated with some hill forts uh, nearby around them, as we have in Zardkhane. And it is a plan of this uh, stone structure or, or hill fort around near the uh, Zardkhane Kromlech Kurgan uh, cemetery. Uh, the, from these uh, kurgans, uh, within these uh, burial chambers of these kurgans, various uh, objects, especially potteries, uh, including the grey pottery characteristics of the late bronze and early iron ages in Iran are discovered. Uh, and sometimes among them there are red and buff ware also. Uh, they could, the potteries uh, with very specific uh, forms and decorations uh, with incised uh, sometimes or burnished decorations especially have been discovered in Larijan Kurgans as well as in Abelu and in Zardkhane as you see them. Uh, further to that we have some uh, metal with bronze weapons uh, uh, from these kurgans, including daggers, arrowheads, bronzes, and in one 
case uh, and in two cases we have uh, bronze uh, axe heads in uh, from La region and from uh, Segirdan region. Uh, further to that, as uh, I mentioned before, the, uh, we have these bronze buttons, bronze personal ornaments, bangles, uh, bracelets, and, and, and maybe stone beads and very rare uh, cases. We have some um, very small uh, gold findings, uh, and there is also some uh, beads, uh, stone beads, uh, we, or from Carnelian, or maybe sometimes we have this, uh, which are from Larijan Kurgans in Jafarabad Kurgans in the southern uh, Araxes River. We have uh, some um, shells or seashells. Uh, discovered uh, in the tombs, uh, the in the tombs, according by the comparative study of the of the material objects from these kurgans, as well as their construction and uh, burial graves, they have been attributed. They have been dated mainly to the late bronze to the Iron Age, a, ta a date between between uh, one thousand four hundred. 50 uh, to uh, 800 B BC in northwestern Iran. But we know that uh, the, despite a very large number of Kurgan sites discovered and reported in northwestern Iran, only very limited examples uh, have been excavated, but uh, the further excavations can shed a lot of light uh, more lights on the uh, Kurgan tradition and the people associated to this uh, culture in the northwestern Iran. Uh, thanks for your attention. This photo is from the mountain plains of the Ardebil province where we have a lot of Kurgan sites uh, in northwestern Iran.